hello everybody today's wednesday i guess it's the the most you know uh, uh, how can i say let me use another word so everybody's anxious for today because today's the funk and as you guys know my bullish bites already over it's already expired i had to, i haven't been told you guys since you know last week you know uh since two weeks ago that my bullish bites will be monday and tuesday of for of this week i'm looking for a reversal the, the trend reversal on friday december 16th you guys already know everything is documented in the market web right so far you know the market web is really 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 i cannot tell like 100 percent accurate because on monday we trade more than 35 points right as I told you guys, I expecting a 35 points block. You know, uh, I'm open over here. Then you can review together, right? Remember, second paragraph, 35 points. So we missed on Monday because it was 50 points. It's a little bit over, you know, the 35 points. But yesterday we spike, but we trade in the range that I told you guys it was 29 points at the close, right? So everything is, is expecting according. The only thing also I put in the comments is that, you know, the only change in the market to up, uh, I mean, the only thing that I changed, you know, in my mind and then consequently I put in the different way was the bullish bias. Last week, I told you Monday and Tuesday, and, you know, I, I look in the market to up, I mean, I look in the dark pool database since the bullish was, the book was really bullish on Monday and Tuesday. I changed for Wednesday, right? But remember the video. I put the video over here. You guys, you just rewatch. Everything is according. So the market trap is not 100% so far because we missed the 35 points. And, you know, I put 3,998 points instead of 4,030. That one that I put in the video, I put in on the chat. Because the dark pool suggested me that I saw some huge orders, you know, in the level. They really want you sell in the level, right? Because that I put a little bit lower than we went. Of course, that we also, you know, uh, break 4,030. We, we, we back test 4,100. Why? Because 4,100 is the last region of the gamma. It is a region that you have poor liquidity. So that's a, 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 a very good reason to sell, you know. Markets very attracted to sell, not to buy, right? I saw a lot of people here, also in our group, in different sites, you know, are you buy, are you buy, you know, now going up, instead of to stop and look the book, you know, look the structure. You know, some of my puts are closer to yesterday, because like 30, 40, 50 percent gain in a day, I don't need to hold more. It's a lot of money, especially you know I put like big orders. It's a lot of money for me. It's a lot of money, like 50 percent plus 30, 30 percent plus in a day. It's a lot of money, right? So I decide to close the majority. I'm keeping the UUB call open. That one I will not close. The expiration day is March 17, 2023, if I'm not wrong, okay? So, we could you see a big drop today, 200 points drop? Yes. Keep this in mind, okay? We have a region over here, 4,020. That is the major resistance today. If we break 4,020, Especially, you know, uh, after Fed, they will squeeze the people again up to 4,080, okay? 4,070, 4,070, 4,073. I will put a little bit by uh, lower than 80, okay? This could you be happy after uh, 230, okay? But the book is really bearish. The put call rate is 1.8. Or, and we have big order that suggests a 200 point drop today. My, my eyes is really open, really open in line of 402. 
I also put a note, sell the news away. This is the famous market, you know, uh, expression, sell the news. Okay. For Friday 16, we have a huge, a huge, a huge book. And I put in the market well uh, rock some information. So we have 1.5. Uh, put almost 1.6 put correct, and you have almost two trillions in contract expiration in put quarters, and 1.2 trillions in call uh, expiration. Uh, according to the market wrap that I put to you guys, we need to separate, you know, by statistical to try to understand and, try, and, and also create like a bias, you know to predict, you know, some things. And because that I put, you know, the reverse start on Friday. Why? If you start to filter, you know, uh, if, uh, filtering, for example, by the gamma region, 3,900 and 4,030, 4, you know, you see the, the put call rate too low, meaning that you have more than 1.3 trillion, you know, in call contracts to expire on Friday versus half trillion so and i also put over here remember that usually the markets walk in the opposite direction where the premium the big premium is so i filter by the gamma it's basically it's 1.3 trillion in the gamma region so consequently you know all the puts are out of the money otm so filtering by 8 million dollars premium we don't have zero in the money uh, puts. And we have 353 million calls in the money. Okay. I put, you know, all the, all the, uh, all the levels of filter by the le levels. And, and I put you guys read this December 16, 2022, and take your conclusion. My conclusion is bearish book reversal will restart on December. 16. That's my conclusion. Doesn't mean that I'm correct. Usually I am, but doesn't mean that I'm correct, especially because the book is really, really, really big. We're talking, we're talking more than three trillion thousand dollars only in SPX contract. Okay, so uh, I'm done for here. Yeah, that's really a possibility to see. 200 points drop today. I don't disregard that. My, my eyes is really open in line 402. Looks like that a buy order. Ah, five. then you lose $2 million if, you know, they didn't drop the market. No, because, you know, the majority of those orders, they use market to manage to hedge themselves. Okay? They, they Basically, they use, you know, market to manage to hedge, to hedge themselves. They, they don't use their money. That's the way that they... I teach you guys how to trade, you know. Uh, when I put some money, I put, you know, little money, you know, to, to at least to be like the, the risk reward, the one for 40, for one loss, 40 gains. That's, you know, I measure things that the way that uh, I, I open position. A lot of times you guys see that I sell a short calls or a short puts. You know, I never put my money. I always try to get 100% profit, or at least 30%. Yeah, remember that my goal is to make from 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 the how from the money that I put in the market your money to close on Friday with 1% gain. You know, that's my goal. Simple, very simple goal. That's the way that you, we protect our heritage and consequently build a fortune. That's you know a a, a, Bill, a Bill Gates. Sorry, that's a Warren Buffett like, like style. That's very simple. Markets are difficult. We complicate because you have too much greed. I don't. I don't. So, uh, yes, 200 points drop it is a possibility. 4,020 is a key level for a squeeze. Also, if you look at the graph, 4,020 is the EMA uh, 200. That's the red line over here exactly at 4018 so that's the region that you're talking about breaking breaking the region breaking ma200 breaking the dark pool you know resistance here line 417 so we 
could you see another squeeze today? Okay. After to, to I mean, starting today, we have very bearish books from now on. Tuesday, Friday. Let me put that next week. Monday only puts. See if you we are we see 200 points, you know, between today and Friday. All those big orders, two million dollars line in 1,216, you'll be in the money. This is a split, but I'm not able to identify if I was a buy or a sell. But remember, only puts so totally bearish book from now on on Monday, on Tuesday. And the only day that we have a bullish book, but the majority was a short call, I also recorded here to you guys, is December 21. But remember, short calls back into a bearish book on, the, on Tuesday, December 22, on Friday, December 23, on Thursday, December 29, and at the end, December 30. Okay? Recap. 200 points drop today. Total possibility to sell the news. I record that to you guys for 400. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Remember the line? December. I forgot the line. Let me put it over here. So, line 402. It's total possibility. So, take, you know, that's a chain. You know, bring out, out the money uh, put. In the money, we have a you know a, a bearish book from from now on up to end of the year. Crash! I don't know if you, you see a crash, but I'm seeing a panic in January, especially if JP Morgan roll out their color. If they roll out the the, the color trade, that color structure that they have that expired on December 30. You know, they, we could you see a spike at the beginning of January and then uh, a downtrend, at least up to March. Okay, I'm seeing panic in, in, in the first in the first queue of 2023. If you be in, in January, February, or March, it's difficult to predict so far. The, the book is, is really huge, but I'm seeing you know panic you know uh, in the first queue. Market will be stabilized, stabilized, stabilized. Sorry for the pronunciation. Uh, you get stable after that, you know, after you see the capital, capitulation. But I'm not expecting any spike in 2023. I'm expecting spike up, going up, only 2024. After 24, that's a, that's a black hole for me and for everybody. The big recession could you start in 2025? Yes. 2026? Yes. I see a little recession next year. Money, money will be drained from, from the economy. Consequently, the market will find the bottle and you'll be sideways up to a spike in, 2000, in, in, in 2024. You guys already have the Ziki graphic that I post to you guys. Be, why I'm telling 2024? Because Ziki is pricing a, ra a rate cut by the Fed start end of 2022. Take care, guys.